Hi, today we're going to talk about parameters in EasyMorph. What are they, how do they work, and what can I do with them? A parameter is essentially a way for you to pass information into your project. It can be a stack value, it can be calculated, it can be used to filter information. That same value could be then used to do what if analysis. It can even be used in SQL or file names. So we're going to walk through a handful of examples. Our first example, we are going to calculate using a parameter we call rate. So I have a parameter called rate, and it has a value of 0.5. So I'm going to take my total sales column and multiply it by rate to get a commission. So we're going to call the new column com. We are going to open up the expression editor, and we're going to multiply total sales by the parameter of rate. And we see that when we add the parameter, we see the brackets. So that signifies that it is a parameter. So let's go ahead and hit OK and apply. And we're going to see that total sales multiplied by that 0.5 comes back with the, the commission value. I can then go into my parameter and actually edit this if I wanted to. So to say 0.75. And we see that the value is immediately calculated. Now let's take this a step further. Let's say that I have total sales and I want to only see the sales greater than or equal to 300 because that's what we're going to pay commission on. So I can actually go ahead and add a new parameter. So I'm going to call this max and I'm going to go ahead and put 300 in there. I'm going to hit apply and I'm going to move over to filter. So yes, I could click in this and select these values, but what if my data changes? So let's move over to condition. We're going to open up that same expression editor again, and we are going to say we want to see total sales where it's greater than or equal to our parameter of max. And click OK and create a filter. So we see that this expression has been created and our data has been filtered. Now, Let's talk about some more uses for parameters. I'm going to open back up my project parameters again. I want to output my data so that it calculates based on the current timestamp and what rate I'm using. So this is useful for if I'm modeling multiple scenarios and I want to timestamp it and I also want to know what rate I used. So what we've done is we've created a calculated version of that. So I can actually call upon different parameters in parameters. So you can actually build lots of um, variable information for yourself to use throughout your project. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's add a new action and go over to export. And we're going to export this data set into a CSV file. So yes, you could type in a static file name, but for this to be useful based on that scenario I just spoke of, we can flip over to parameter. We can select that file name that I calculated, and we can even see what the value looks like right now. So notice it picked up these parameters. And I'm going to overwrite and click apply. Now if I hit save and run, it's going to create that file for me. And because it's a current timestamp, if I were to run it again, you should see two, value, two file names with different values come back. And I do. And those are just a couple ways of using parameters in EasyMorph.